Okay, so, so far we talked about AutoCAD, which is a software that you have to pay for, which is not cheap. Um, it's a few thousand dollars per a single license. We also talked about a free web-based modeler, such as Tinkercad. And now we're going to talk about another free option, which is FreeCAD. But this, are, this option you have to install on your local machine. So for that, we simply go to freecad.org and click on download. Then under downloads, we have the option uh, to install it on Windows. It has to be Windows 7 or above on Mac and on Linux. So go ahead and download the version that it would best work for you. In my case, it would be Windows. Then you run your installer. Then you're going to say next, next, install just for me. That's the place that I want it. Notice that this is a, um, a path that you can change, but more importantly, the space required is 50 gigabytes. So it's not small. So you need to make, figure out if you want to install it and if you have enough, enough space on your drive. Okay, so this is accepting um, that you're gonna do a, an icon on the desktop and then you hit install. It's that simple. Then we're ready to use FreeCAD. Once you open FreeCAD, you'll see the first thing you can access is this tab where it will take you to some examples. And notice that this is a 3D assembly, um, an engine block. Or you can also do very simple um, structural analysis. So you can walk through through them. The, ex, the file extension for, for FreeCAD is FCSTD. So FreeCAD standard. And you can obviously import and export as step and edges. Um, so that is pretty much um, how you open examples through FreeCAD. So if you notice at this particular example, it's gonna show you all the steps. So this is the finished body. It's gonna show you the origin and the planes um, and all the steps that they decided to, to take to create this part. So that's basically how you work through examples. The tabs are going to be down here, so you can have multiple things open. I'm going to close it. So if you go to new, you're going to have a brand new file that you would have to start from scratch. And then if you save as, it will save as the FreeCAD standard. Okay. You can export uh, different formats and even as a PDF. All right. Under tools, we can go to unit calculator. And this is similar to the calculator that we did in AutoCAD. So if you type your uh, quantity and units as the unit that you want, then um, you can basically, uh, and press enter, you can get the answer right there. So in, for example, if you do one meter, two inches is a thousand millimeters. Okay, if you press enter, it will be saved on your history. So this is a useful tool right here. Another useful tool is if you wanna add text, we'll do that later. Then also you can customize. And one thing that we can look into is your windows and your views. So you can go into all those tabs and um, customize them. 
So this is how you want your project to be um, presented to you. So you can customize that. I usually don't. I just go to the standard uh, options that they offer. And another one is the auto manager. So it's going to tell you right here that they can be installed here, not officially. Uh, this basically means that since this is a free software, the community, which you can be part of the community by um, submitting uh, projects and and submitting changes in the code. So the community will send things as add-ons and you can uh, basically get them from here. So the printing, 3D printing tools, architectural tools, um, CAD exchanger, so curves, so more sophisticated curves, splines, etc. FEM, uh, CADs or uh, tools, FEM add-ons, I mean. Uh, etc. There are many, many PCBs. There are many uh, tools that you can bring into your project, uh, stati uh, statics, um, but you have to be careful because they're not from the FreeCAD team. They're from um, third parties that have developed on top of FreeCAD. A very important thing to do before anything is go to Edit and Preferences. So. This will, will tell you all the settings that your software has, such as, and you can change them, such as the language. So you have different options. Um, you can change your uh, style uh, page, your size for your toolbars, etc. Um, I don't touch those very often, but more importantly, I come to units. And this is something that is pretty important. So this is where you change your units. You can go from standard, which is the international system, millimeters, kilogram system, uh, second, and you can go to US inch, pound, um, FEM, Newton, millimeter, Newton, imperial, etc. So right now we're just gonna have standard which is in millimeters but the standard system of international system of units will call for meters and kilograms so this one is a custom one which that's important to notice the free cat will start the drawing in millimeters and not in meters so this is where you go to the type of units that you want so let's keep it in millimeters and say apply okay and that's how you keep your changes so we are ready to start a sketch, 2D or 3D. So the first step is not very intuitive. The first step is going to this tab and choosing Sketcher. Okay, so this is your first step in a project to choose what path you're gonna take. So since we have nothing, we don't have anything at all, we're gonna start with the Sketcher. And notice that even we want to, even though we went to the sketcher option, we still don't have any options to do anything. We still have the views on the sketcher, so this is pretty standard. We have all the typical views and the isometric view, but we have no way of doing anything to um, an object. We don't even have a way to create an object. That is because even though we're within the sketcher um, option we still have to create a new sketch. And that's the way it's set up in FreeCAD and that's just what we need to know. So it's gonna ask you to decide where to start your sketch. So we want it to be in the XY plane with no offset, offset from the coordinate system, uh, original point. So this is in AutoCAD how we did the zero, zero. So we're gonna do uh, okay. Notice this reverse direction is going to be what I mentioned before is the normal direction. So if you have a plane, then if your reverse direction is going to be on the opposite side of the plane. Um, so I typically don't do that. Okay. And notice that now we have different options here. So we have an option to go out to leave the sketch. We have, we have the option to create a new one. If we want to do a different plane, we can do a view section, um, stop operations. But this is where we start doing our objects. Create a line, create an arc, and of course you have different types of um, 
RX from the center, from the endpoint, and even more options are under these um, arrows.